Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ and 26 Tango Mark 062. So this week's video we're going to take a look at this telescopic CB antenna that'll also work on 10 meters. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this antenna is a T-Way radio, or they spell it on the Amazon, T-Way RDIO. It's a CB antenna for 27 megahertz. It'll also work on 28, and we'll test it in this video. See what the SWR is like on 28 using the inbuilt SWR meter on the 817. Now, I got this for around about £16 from Amazon. There's loads of different ones on there, but it should work better than this one. This is the Albrecht extension antenna I got for the Albrecht 2990 ASF. So we're taking out the packet. You see on the end here, we've got a BNC plug there. There's some writing, tells you about the antenna. And it's a telescopic antenna. You just extend it when you finish, place it down. Now it should work on all, all handheld CB radios, such as the present Randy. It should work on things like the present Randy, the Midland, Allen 42, the DS. But if your radio, such as this one here, which is a Team Pico, and this is the one I featured in the video. Focus, please. There you go. Featured in the video. Hasn't got a BNC plus, got a TNC. Then you can get one of these adapters. Now, these are dirt cheap, these, these adapters. Uh, I think I paid like two quid, two and a half quid for that one. I also want to know if anyone knows where to get the eight pack cell from. This is does six pack, and it'll only work, the radio will only work in low power. Now, if I uh, power it up and use high power, the radio makes a chopping sound on the airways. Now, first of all, I thought the old PPL might need tightening, the old phase dot loop. But according to what I've read online and comments that came in with the video I've done, you need the eight eight pack um, a battery pack there to make it work on the high power. Maybe I should just try it off the the power supply. Put some touch and wires on the bottom there and fire it up. See if I can get it working on high power. But yeah, I want to try it on this at some point and compare the differences between this antenna and this antenna. And this antenna uh, collapsed is 10 inches, which is about 25.5 centimeters, and fully extended. There goes my phone is 52.3 inches which is around about 133 centimeters and it works great on the handhelds and I've also used it with this radio here which is the FT817 and I made a copy in this 5 watts into Spain unfortunately I didn't have my phone recorded but I have been hearing loads of stations on the 10 meters um, fortunately wasn't able to make a contact because the uh, battery was dying on the 817 I used the drone battery the LiPo I was hearing Rio de Janeiro come through on 10 meters so let's go and check the SWR with this new antenna on the 817 and see what it's like using the inbuilt meter on the FT817. Okay, so I've got the antenna connected to the FT817. You need to make sure the 817 is going to use the front antenna, not the rear antenna. Made that mistake a few times. Press and hold the function button. If I zoom in, you've got menu number seven there, antenna front, and you if you go to antenna rear. Probably hear that the relay switch are kicking. Not, not sure we can hear that. I believe it on front. Press another function button. And the good thing about the 817 is if you stand it up like this, as long as it's not too windy, it won't fall over. And you've got these little legs at the bottom there, and it, you can plug the power cable in, and it won't hang out at the bottom because I've got a little right angled power cable there that came from the 817. And I finally got round to soldering the connection back up. Not the best of jobs, but it'll do. Works for me. I need to put some heat shrink around there and uh, cover this up completely which would probably work better i'm just using the power lead i got with me 817 if i find another power lead a boot cell and uh, it fits in the back here i'm just going to buy, buy the power pack chop the end off and just use the cable 50p for the power supply chuck the power supply in the bin just use the cable and put an xt60 on there and uh solder it up and the battery i use is the one i always use one is five amp power turns you batteries and that's looking a bit puffy but Seems to be okay. So let's check the SWR. So you need to make sure the radio is set up for SWR, and I showed you how to do that in a previous video. Let's check it for the SWR. Now you see here, I've got S8 and noise floor. I get a lot of noise floor around here, but yet below 7 megs, so 80 meters and below, uh, 7, uh, 40 meters and below, the noise floor disappears. Don't ask me why. I can turn the auto gain control off on this radio and the noise disappears, but the audio quality coming through is absolutely horrendous. You can't hear a word they're saying. So make sure I'm not keying over anyone. No, that's just, just noise. Let's check the SWR. We're on upper sideband, 28460, decimal 94, that'll do. 
2E0 IQJ testing, 2E0 IQJ testing. You see there, yes, WR is barely moving, two to three three bars. Now, if you hold it, yes, WR comes down even further. Sometimes I don't, it doesn't even move at all for 28 megs. Let's go to 29 megs. And we'll stick it straight on FM, see what the SWR is like. You see there, noise force gone right up to S+. Plus. It's not no good around there. Check you're not keying over no one. And uh, give it a test. 2E0 IQJ testing. You see there, the SWR went right up. Let's go right towards the end of the band. Let's do it there. I'm just going to give it a key up. So you get five bars on the on there. Let's go down to 28. Go right down and we go as low as I can get it. So 28 dead on. Audio 2E0 IQJ testing. So yeah, the antenna, oh, excuse the wobbly camera. The antenna is more designed for 27 megs, but we'll work on 28 megs. And I do tend to, I do plan to try it with this Team Pico handheld. At some point, maybe do an on-air test and compare the Pico handheld antenna. So this one here, the Albrecht, compared to this one here. So we go, the telescopic antenna I picked up from Amazon, $16.99. Works with handheld CB radios, such as the Cobras, the Midlands, Eurosonics. And if your handheld CB has got a BNC plug, you should be good to go. It's got a TNC plug to get an adapter lock I've got sitting on the Team Pico. And also use it on 10 meters. It's nice and low, the SWR. Uh, on 28 megs, 29 it does creep up a bit but when you ha hold the radio, the SWR does come down and I plan to use it when the warm weather comes in on 10 meters to see if I can make any contacts. I have done one contact uh, 5 watts into Spain but I didn't have my phone with me to record um, so it would have been good to get out on this video should perform better than this antenna and this is the Albrecht antenna that I bought this was about 1999 so this cost more than this one the good thing about this one is te this telescope is a bit more flexible but you can't collapse it down. Uh, this one, I always worried about these antennas when you collapse them down, that you're going to break them. But if you do it nice and slowly, carefully, you should be good to go. I do want to do a test between this antenna and this antenna on 10 meters as well, because I can put this on the 817. And also do, want to do it on the Team Pico handheld, so I can put these both on the Team Pico handheld and do a test. Hopefully, the, the cube can give us a hand with that one. And you can send some video over and we can see what performs better, this one or this one. Anyhow, if you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. But would I recommend this antenna? Yes, I definitely would for $16.99. It's definitely worth trying on your handheld to see if it improves the range. You can even turn a CRT1 or one of them little mini CB radios into port pack. I'll try that at some point. But yeah, I definitely recommend this antenna. It's nice and cheap. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. 2E0 IQJ, 26 Tango Mike 062. And the Viking saying 7-3 for now.